The Fastest Horse of the Week is brought to you by the Red Hot Constitution, one of those fast sires at Windstar Farm. And as you might be able to guess from his name, Catching Freedom, the Louisiana Derby winner, is a son of Constitution. And it's not just Catching Freedom that's making headlines. Overall, Constitution is the number two sire of 2024 three-year-olds. The Constitution stands now for $110,000 at Windstar Farm. Now for the Fastest Horse of the Week who is also the fastest horse of the year and essentially the fastest horse of the last two years. Uh, remarkably, she's a six-year-old Louisiana bred mare by the name of Ova Charged, who won Sunday's Page Cortez Stakes on closing day at the fairgrounds. A five and a half furlong turf race, mind you, by 12 and a half lengths with a buyer speed figure of 113. Not only the highest buyer speed figure of this year, it's the highest since Flightline won the Breeders' Cup Classic November 5th, 2022, and it's the highest at the fairgrounds in the last 12 years. Overcharged is a freak. She's won 12 of her last 15 starts, three for three on turf, all in sprints, a combined 24 and three quarters lengths. Probably has to be considered one of, if not the fastest turf sprinter in the country right now. Owned by the Britland Stable, trained by Shane Wilson, and another offspring of the Louisiana super sire, Star Guitar. We talked to Jet DeLome last week. He's got that really good Louisiana bred touch upon a star, right? Who was second in the New Orleans Classic, ran a heck of a race on Saturday by Star Guitar. The race after Overcharge was the Star Guitar Stakes, won by a horse named Behema Star, a son of Star Guitar. I know if I had a really good broodmare and I was in the business of racing and not commercially selling them, I would probably send it to this $5,500 stud fee stallion star guitar down in Louisiana. Overcharge, though, is, uh, is really something else.